Yuan is on the border of three provinces in Jiangxi's northeastern corner. It not only has graceful natural landscapes, but also a profound cultural significance. Its remoteness and the inconvenient transportation protected its village's beauty from strife and war over much of the history. The ancient buildings in the villages of Wu Yuan have a distinctive shape and structure. They emerge among the Emerald Mountains, clear rivers, green trees, and the crisscrossing path between the fields. They have been described by some overseas photographers as the most beautiful Chinese villages. Wu Yuan has at least 50 old villages that remain almost unchanged over the last century. Each village has their unique feature and positively begs to be photographed. Villages in the eastern of counties like Li Keng, Wang Kou, Xiaoqi Village, and Jiangling Village often get the best reviews. The ancient village of Li Keng is the home of the Li family. It is famous for its picturesque view, themed with water and bridges, a traditional and classical aesthetic beauty liked best by Chinese scholars. Li Keng Village is surrounded by mountains. The ancient buildings are distributed through the villages, with many quaint buildings built on the side of the stream. The houses are backed by the mountains, with the common theme being white walls and black tiles. The lanes and streets seem to flow together like the streams. The green stone paved streets give visitors the feeling of simplicity and tranquility. A great diversity of bridges crossing the stream completes the picture of bridges, streams and houses. The scene is a most traditional Chinese painting highlighting rural beauty. Wang Kou is in the northeast of Wu Yuan County, where two rivers intersect in front of the village, making the water abundant. Wang Kou means the entrance of water. The village was established by an imperial governor Yu 1,000 years ago. His descendants inherited his business and prospered from generation to generation. 1,700 people who live in the village and most have the surname of Yu. The cultural and ecological resources of Wang Kou are very abundant and unique. In time past, the eastern part of Wu Yuan could not be reached by road, so river transportation was the only method of transportation. Wang Kou became the trading hub for eastern Wu Yuan and was called the Port of Straw Sandals. There were still many shops and buildings which were built by businessmen hundreds of years ago, which emphasizes the commercial importance of the village. The Yu family ancestral hall is regarded as an architectural artistic treasure by the experts on ancient architecture. It displays the highest level of ancient architectural art in Wu Yuan.
Xiaoqi Village is located in Jiangwan Township, 33 kilometers from Wuyuan. Like other ancient villages in Wuyuan, there are many special ancient buildings featuring magnificent and precise craftsmanship. The village has unique features like roads which were made of small stones and the old camper tree that has been standing behind the village for a thousand years. The rape flower in Wuyuan is another unique feature. Jiangling Terrace is the best place to see the rape flowers in March. Other ancient villages around county are Sixi Yantun villages in the north of county, which are picture postcard villages but real villages for ordinary rural folk. Measuring 140 meters in length and 7 meters in width, Rainbow Bridge in Qinghua Village was built 800 years ago and is an architectural masterpiece that includes five corridors and six pavilions. It is said to be the most beautiful covered bridge in the area. The best time to visit Wuyuan is in spring when rape flowers are blooming. However, the domestic tourists are also blooming at that time, so it can be very crowded. Wuyuan is only about one hour drive from Huangshan Mountain, so it is very easy to visit Wuyuan after a Huangshan Mountain tour. Travel with China Highlights, discover the ancient villages in Wuyuan.